Hey guys! If you watched the last video I said we are going to use the cucumber slices for the next project, I realized I had to post at least one and maybe even two other tutorials before I can make that one, so today we'll be making croissants and a wooden tray. Hope you'll enjoy! You want to start off with a light yellow toned dough color, then roll out the shape of what I like to call a chubby banana. Roll out a thin sheet of the same color and then cut out three to four of these pieces which you're going to stack on top. If needed, you can cut off any excess clay to get the shape you want. Just make sure to smooth out the clay near the bottom of the croissant, so it doesn't look messy when you look at it from the side. There are lots of different types of looks when it comes to croissants. Some look a lot more flaky, some are very smooth, some have a lot of ridges and some do not, so it's really up to you how you want it to look. I recommend checking out Google for reference pictures to find the style you prefer. For the texture, I first used some scrunched up tinfoil and just gently went over the flat surface areas. If you press too hard, it's going to be too textured for miniature scale and it's going to end up just looking messy. I then used a needle tool to make some lines on each of the edges. If you have problems with the needle tool tearing or ripping the clay, you can try holding it at a slight angle, which should help. Although for some pieces, it might be a useful texture. As always, if you have any questions about the tools and materials I use in these videos, I do have a video about my tools, which I will link in the info box. And if you have any food requests, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you have any requests that are something other than food or branded food such as fast food, candy, etc., please leave them on my main channel. Finally, I used my blade to lift up the two ends and then baked. After baking, I first added some light shading using soft pastel. For this, I applied it with a dry brush because it is such a bright color and I don't want it to be too opaque. This is just to create a nice golden base color. I then went in with acrylic paint and applied this lightly to all the flat areas as well as a tiny bit to the creases. This project is pretty simple and I think it looks really cute. I'm trying my best not to post too many detailed or advanced pieces in a row and instead have more of a mixture to make sure I have something for everyone. But also, sometimes these much more simple pieces which don't have a lot going on are some of my personal favorites. For the second coat of acrylic paint, I mixed two colors to get the right tone that I wanted, which is just a nice orangey warm brown. I used this to mainly deepen the color of some areas, but I also applied a tiny bit with some random strokes. I then sealed everything with glaze. I first went in with matte glaze as usual, mainly just to protect the pastel, and I then added a tiny bit of gloss glaze on top. Thank you. 
For the tray, I first made a super simple pattern on a piece of paper and you're just gonna need one piece for the bottom in the size you want your tray and then you're gonna need one piece for the long sides and one for the short sides. The wood I'm going to be using is a one millimeter thick sheet of mahogany. I got this from a store that sells supplies for model building like ships and stuff like that. But you can also find this in a lot of craft stores or miniature shops. These sheets of wood are thin enough so that you're able to cut them with a craft knife. But since I got my new desks, I made a permanent spot for my saw, which I haven't had in a long time. And so I decided to just use that for cutting. For the handles, I chose to just sketch out two hearts and I then used an electric file or drill to first drill two holes and then I used a file bit to almost finish off the heart. Since I do use metal and wood for some of my projects, I am going to be making a couple of basics videos for that, just going through the different tools and materials that I like using. And lastly, I just used a needle nose file to clean up the shape. Before putting the sides of the tray together, I used a file to sand the edges or the sides at a slight angle. Then make sure the bottom piece fits and glue that in place as well. And sand the tray if needed. For the paint, I mixed three colors of acrylic paint to get kind of like a bluish gray color. And I just roughly painted this on, leaving some of the wood exposed. If you wanted to, you can also use a file or some sandpaper to sand off some of the paint after painting it. But because the texture of this mahogany is already fairly rough, I chose to just do it this way. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed these videos and want to see more, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next tutorial.